Surprise! So I know that to some of you this probably won't be a massive surprise and to others it might be a massive surprise. <laughs> if you've been keeping your eye on social media, on Instagram and Twitter, you might have seen me and Skinny Dip drop a few little hints. I've been dropping some hints over the past quite a few months. At the start, nobody really picked up on it because I don't think many people were suspected this, but over time, people started picking up on things and were like, hang on, Soph, do I spy a new collab with Skinny Dip? And those people would be right. So I am launching next week on the 3rd of December, my third drop with Skinny Dip, which is pretty mad. So not this Thursday, but the Thursday after, the 3rd of December, just wanna say, I will leave all the information down below, like sizes, prices, launch date times, everything like that, because I feel like I probably will forget something in this video. And as I'm filming this, I don't actually know the exact time that we're launching on the website. I think it will be in the evening. Last time it was 6 p.m., so I'd imagine it will be 6 p.m., but I just wanna double check and everything that you need to know will be down below in the description box. And when the collection is live, I will link it down below as well. So some of you might be thinking, so for a third collection with Skinny Dip, which I mean, me too, I'm thinking the same thing. Let me just explain a little bit. So originally when I did my second drop, which was my previous collection, by the way, there's still a few bits of my previous collection that are available on the website. They are actually gonna be 30% off on Black Friday, just a little heads up but not my new stuff because obviously my new stuff is launching after Black Friday. When I did my second collection with Skinny Dip, there was actually supposed to be jewelry involved in that collection. However, because of COVID and when I was designing my second collection, it was in the December of 2019, before COVID had kind of come over to the UK. And so we were planning to do, at that stage, everything from my drop to and jewelry as well. However, when COVID started growing in China and then in the UK, we realized that we weren't gonna be able to produce the jewelry in time for the launch of my second drop. Turns out my second drop didn't even launch on time anyway because of COVID. It was supposed to launch back in March. It ended up launching in the summer. So obviously COVID this year has kind of thrown everything sort of out the window. And so we then decided, you know what, because the jewelry is gonna take a little bit longer to produce, let's, let's launch that as a third drop in the summer. But as it turns out, my second drop launched in the summer. The jewelry then got put on hold. But after my second launch, the clothing pieces seemed to do really well. The second time round, we were like, let's do clothes. That would be really cool because I live in loungewear, as you guys know, like if you watch me on the regular. And yeah, it, it went down really, really well. So we thought, you know what? For the third drop, let's do some more clothing and the jewelry. And so that's what this third drop is. It wasn't originally planned this way. Oh, I'm so excited to show you these pieces. We've got joggers this time, which we didn't have last time. And everything is so comfortable, so cozy. The materials are absolutely gorgeous and everything is just the perfect stuff to wear lounging around the house, to wear lounging over Christmas. So obviously I have to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to you guys for enjoying my previous collection and and buying my previous collection and showing love for it because if that, if you hadn't have, you know, shown love for my previous collections with Skinny Dip, there is no way I would be doing a third collection with them. So thank you guys so much. I really, really, really appreciate it. And even to sit here and be saying that I'm doing another collection with Skinny Dip, which is a brand that I've been buying from since it launched pretty much. And I have videos back on my channel of me, including Skinny Dip phone cases in my phone case collection videos that I used to do when I was like 18. So yeah, it's pretty bloody special to be doing another collection with them. And obviously as well, I've got to say thank you to Skinny Dip for actually wanting to do another collection with me. And thank you to the whole team for believing in me and just being so nice and so understanding of everything and so willing to listen to my ideas and change things when they weren't quite perfect. Um, so yeah, thank you to all of the team that worked on this with me. And thank you to my management as well, because my manager has been amazing throughout of all of this throughout of all of this, throughout all of this. Let's jump in. And as you can probably tell, I'm wearing all of the jewelry right now, actually. So it wouldn't be a skinny dip collection without a couple of phone cases. This time around, there's just two new phone cases, which are beautiful and they fit the collection so perfectly. So I don't know if you've noticed, I've had this on my phone for quite a few weeks now and in my Q and A videos and my question of the days, I have had this phone case and this pop socket 
just chilling in my videos and nobody's really commented on it. I don't think anybody really noticed. Oh yeah, there's two pop sockets as well. Also, a lot of people always say like, oh, why have you got a iPhone, whatever this, I can't remember which one this is. Is it an iPhone 11? Basically the phone case fits both the iPhone XS Max, which is the one that I've got, and it also fits the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So this phone case is a lilac blue and white tie-dye effect phone case. It's then got the sun and the moon illustrations on it with some clouds as well and some little twinkles. And then over the top of it, it has a little bit of holographic glitter. And then the pop socket is matching as well. So it's got the same design as the case. It's just got the white moon and the sun and clouds and then the blue and lilac tie-dye. The reason I went for the lilac is because over lockdown, I've really been experimenting a lot more with color in my makeup. There was one lilac t-shirt that I wore during lockdown that I did a video in and I did matching lilac makeup and everybody loved it and it was just this random lilac t-shirt that I'd got in a PR package once but after wearing that I was like you know what I actually really love this color getting a bit more experimental with my makeup during lockdown inspired me to add a little bit more color into this collection okay a lot of it is like there there's quite a lot of black in here but there's a bit more there's a bit more color in it <laughs> and then blue is probably my favorite color so I just loved the combination of the two of these together I think it looks absolutely beautiful and fun little fact, not the summer that's just gone, the summer before that. I went to Croatia with James and on the plane on the way back, I was a bit anxious. So I started doodling in one of my notepads and I was actually trying to come up for a new design for my next tattoo, which I still haven't got. And I started drawing out some moon and star designs with some clouds and I actually found those for this launch for my skinny dip and I sent my drawings to the designers and I was like, I don't know if this is helpful, but oh, I sent my little doodles to them that I've been doing on the plane. I'm not the best artist in the world, but these are some doodles that I'd done like last year and I would love if they could be kind of incorporated into this collection. So they obviously made much better versions of everything because they are the artists and graphic designers and they've done an amazing job and this case actually has the silver detailing the silver metal detail around the camera oh and also both of the case designs are these like super shock protective ones so if you drop your phone it's very unlikely that it's going to break i can't say 100 percent because like i said in my previous collection don't want anyone to sue me but it's got the um reinforced bits around the corners and so if you drop it on the corners it's got that extra bit of protection it's also got nice grip around the sides it's got these grippy little dots and then it does say skinny dip along the side here so your phone is fully protected in these cases they're very like sturdy but also as well they are slightly bendable as well so you can get them on and off a bit more easily and then the second phone case is a design that also again runs through the collection this is a transparent one and i know that the transparent cases went down really well last time so it's clear but then it's got the design overlaid over the top of it so this one has got holographic Oh my god, it matches my nails. I didn't even do that on purpose. So the hollow on this one, it has tiny little bits of holographic glitter, but then the actual design of the moon and all of the moon phases and everything, and it's also got some little flowers, it's got little stars, it's so beautiful. These little holographic bits are, it looks like glitter, it's not glitter, but it's that glitter sort of effect. And this reflects every single rainbow color. And then there is also a pop socket which matches this one. Obviously you don't have to get the matching phone cases and pop sockets, you can mix and match them or you could just get a pop socket if you don't have an iPhone or if you don't need a new phone case or anything like that, you know. So this pop socket is black tie dye which you will see maybe matches one of the pieces in a minute. And it has the exact same moon phases design. So it's just got the moon and then all the different moon phases going around it. And it's got the little flowers as well and the stars. Wanted to add in the flowers just because I'd seen quite a few designs of the moon and the stars and flowers together and thought it looked absolutely beautiful. And also as well, it's a little nod to my mum because she loves gardening, she loves her flowers. And I did actually ask my family what all their favorite flowers were, just because I wanted to incorporate some more flowers into this collection. So there are a couple little like floral elements as well, which I think is really cute. So those are the phone cases and the pop sockets. Also, by the way, the pop sockets are the actual pop socket brand. You can actually peel and re-stick these onto other phone cases. Another thing that we've added this time round is AirPod cases. I have had this on my phone, on my phone, on my AirPods for months. This is actually the first sample that I got of the case and was like, you know what? It's perfect, no changes. So this is one of the AirPod cases. This also comes for the AirPods, what are they called? AirPod Pro? So first of all, if you're the type of person that loses your AirPods, 
It comes with a clip, so you can clip them onto something. I don't know, you can clip them onto your bag, clip them onto your keys, and you won't lose your AirPod case again. And if I just take it off and show you how it kind of comes apart, so there's a bottom bit, and then there's also this top bit that goes on the top of your AirPods, but you literally just slide your AirPods in here, put the cap on and then you can just open them and close them as normal. So this is a, what's the word, kind of duochrome, iridescent, transparent case. I don't know if you can see in the light, it kind of reflects different colors. And then it has the same design as the Moon Phases pop socket and the phone case, but just in white. I have actually had this on mine for a couple of months, so mine is probably a little bit scratched by now, but that is the whole point. It scratches the case instead of your AirPods. I don't have the AirPod Pro case with me just because I did leave a couple of bits at the photo shoot by accident because my samples got mixed up with everyone else's samples. So moving on to the jewelry bits, and then finally I will talk about the clothing pieces, which there is the most of. So for the jewellery. This time round we've got rings which I'm so happy about because I wear a lot of rings anyway in my daily life and a lot of people would always ask questions about where I got my rings from. So this time I was like guys if we do jewellery I want to have some rings. So we do have a few different ones. So there are actually three rings but I've got four on because I've like got quite a few different sets of them. The packaging looks so cute. It's just a little card and then it's got my name on it in blue and I believe the rings come in small, medium and large. I wear a size small. So the first ring I've actually got on my middle finger here and this is one of the most beautiful rings that I've seen. I may be being biased but it's the same moon and sun design with a little bit of clouds on the edges and the jewellery is actually 12 karat gold plated and then the other two rings actually come as a two pack. So this one is actually just solid. It's not solid gold. It's made of like a different metal underneath and then it's gold plated but like it's solid metal if you get what I mean with no holes in it and then it's just got moons and suns imprinted and embossed all the way around it and then the second ring which I've got on this finger has got little gaps and it's just got moons and stars all the way round and it's got little gaps in it and I think it is so cute because I actually had a ring that I would always get questions on that was actually Roman numerals and that had the gaps in the middle so I thought you know what I want to do something that's really similar to that one but just with the moons and stars instead so that's what I said to the team and they delivered so those are the rings the single ring is £12 and the two pack is £14 we then have two necklaces which I'm wearing here as you can see I've had a lot of questions about these necklaces so with this necklace we did go back and forth a couple times because the first sample it was beautiful but I think it was just a little bit too big and I wanted it to be a little bit more dainty so we ended up making it a little bit smaller and the chain a little bit thinner so this is the longer necklace and it does have the adjustable string chain chain that's the word not string <laughs> so you can make this longer or shorter if you want to but this is it on its shortest setting on here. So this one is a little bit longer. It's more of like a pendant necklace and this one has an engraved sun and moon on it And then it actually has little cutouts of some stars I will obviously show you guys a close-up and then the chain is more of a rope style kind of chain It's got that twisted sort of effect and then the second necklace is a little bit of a shorter one It's not quite a choker, but this has got the moon phases on it again And it's got little stars in between it But I think this one it just looks so beautiful and again this one does have an adjustable chain I just think the charms on this look so, so pretty. This one is £16 and the other one is £14. So these are the two necklaces. Oh, and this one has engraved little bits on the moons as well, which are just so stunning. And then finally for the jewellery, we have a pair of earrings and a pack of ear cuffs, which come with two ear cuffs, which again, I have been wearing these for quite a while now. A couple of people commented being like, oh my gosh, did anybody notice the new piercing? And I'm like, it's not a new piercing, guys. It's just an ear cuff. It comes off at the end of the day, but you don't have to go through the pain. I just love the way the ear cuffs look. So I've got one of them on this side and then the other one on this side. And then obviously I'm wearing the earrings here in my first holes and these are exactly what I wanted for the ear cuffs so one of them is very very similar to this ring it's just got the moon phases kind of embossed into it and the other ear cuff is a little bit more dainty and then it's just got this kind of starburst star that has the long sort of pointed bit and then the star sits kind of just on the outer like fold of your ear if that makes sense obviously everybody's ears are going to be slightly different shapes if you do need to you can just gently kind of bend these into posi position obviously don't bend them too much because you don't want to snap them but the best way that i find to get these on my ear because because you do need to kind of fiddle around with them a bit i guess it depends on your ear anatomy oh my god i'm gonna make my ear really red now i can just tell start at the top at the thinnest bit of your ear so i start mine up there, then kind of slip it on and then slide it down if you want to wear it kind of like halfway down your ear, which I do. I like wearing it in this 
sort of bit. I told you, mate, it was gonna go so red. That is the easiest way to do it. And then when you wanna take it off, slide it back up that way instead of trying to pull it off this way. But these ear cuffs are just so beautiful and they add a little bit of extra something if you don't have your ears pierced. And then the final piece of jewelry is the earrings. Again, we went back and forth with these and ended up making them smaller because the first sample was just a little bit more chunky, but I wanted them to be a little bit more dainty. They have the appearance of being a kind of full hoop, but they're actually a half hoop and then the charm hangs on this bit, but they are a standard butterfly back earring, which just goes on like this so that they're just a little bit easier to get in than your standard kind of hoops. You don't have to do any hinges or anything. It's a little round charm that's got a cutout moon. It's got some cutout stars and it's got a couple little gems in there as well. I freaking love these earrings. I think they're gorgeous and I just love the way that they look on my ears. They're not too big. They're not too in your face. They're still very much like everyday earrings, but they're just like everyday with a bit of glam, you know? I love a little dainty dangly earring. These are 14 pounds. So finally, moving on to the clothing pieces. The first clothing pieces, obviously, is what I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing the full tracksuit. So there's a few bits of tie-dye clothing in here and they are actually hand dyed. So that is why first of all, the prices are a little bit higher because they are all hand dyed rather than being sort of mass produced and printed as a tie-dye print, if that makes sense. And secondly, that does mean that each piece might be a little bit different because they can't get the same sort of tie-dye print exactly the same every time. So I guess in that way, it means that your piece is a bit more unique. So that is why the prices are a bit higher. Also as well, I did fight to get the thickest and softest quality sweatshirt material and hoodie material, jogger material that I could get. For some of these pieces, we did go through quite a few samples and I was like, nope, I want it to be thicker, I want it to be cozier, I want it to be softer. And we had to go through a couple different samples and me being like, please can we make sure that they are a really lovely soft thick material and that's what we've got it's a really really gorgeous fleecy material for all of the hoodies and joggers and stuff so this set is just my absolute favorite i mean i will show you guys proper trial clips but the joggers are just your standard kind of high waist jogger with drawstrings they've got pockets they cinch at the ankles so they've got an elasticated bit at the ankles so if you're short like me and these bunch up a little bit at the ankles then you're good they're not going to drag on the floor this is the comfiest set ever like i've been living in this since i got my samples back and i don't even know how to describe this color it's like a gray with a hint of lilac e blue in it what is this color and then it's got this beautiful amazing design on it which i absolutely love which is the moon phases there's like a big starburst behind it we've got constellations down the bottom here there's a shooting star there's a little moon there's little stars that kind of come down here this is like my perfect sweatshirt and exactly what i wanted and the design team have just absolutely nailed it so yeah as you can tell i'm pretty excited about this set and the joggers are the same and these have actually got all over them They've got, like, we've got a constellation down here. They've got little planets. They've got little moons. They've got little stars. They've got the same print that runs all the way through them. Like, <laughs> probably not the best way to show you, but can you see? It doesn't come as a set. You can buy the pieces individually. So if you are different size on top and bottom, then you can switch things up. Or if you just want to buy one or the other, that's totally fine. I know that times are tough at the moment. Like, I should have said this at the start of the video. I'm not forcing anybody to buy any of this. If you don't want to buy any of this, that is totally fine. It is down to you. But I'm just hoping that maybe this collection can bring you a little bit of joy. Maybe if you want to treat yourself for Christmas or put some of it on your Christmas list or buy something nice for one of your friends at Christmas. I don't know, but you don't have to buy it. I understand that times are really hard at the moment with money and with COVID and stuff. So I don't want to put any pressure on anybody, but... I just hope that you guys like the pieces and like the designs. And I also should probably say as well, it is going to be a limited collection. So, so if you do see a piece that you absolutely love, it's most likely not gonna come back unless there is a crazy demand for something. However, nothing is guaranteed to be produced again. So, okay, so some of the stuff might still be a bit creased. I did spray it with crease release about half an hour. That's a lie. James sprayed this for me with crease release about half an hour before this video. And the second pair of joggers are a black pair of joggers. These ones are a lot more basic, a lot more simple. Again, they have the drawstring waist, which does actually work to tighten. The sizing is going up to a size 24 UK size, women's. There's one item which the factory recently told us that they don't make that particular hoodie design, not design, like that hoodie block 
in a size 24, so there is one black hoodie in this collection that is going up to a 22. Everything else is going up to a size 24. So these joggers, again, they've got the pocket, they've got the drawstring, and they're the same design as these ones. And these are plain black, apart from this gorgeous embroidery on the pocket. This is embroidered, it's not printed, it's embroidered. I didn't know that they would be able to get this much detail with the embroidery, but I think it looks absolutely bloody stunning. And again, everything is such a thick, lovely material. So this sweatshirt kind of goes with it. This is ever so slightly cropped, so if you're a bit taller than me, it probably would be a bit more cropped on you. On me, this is probably like a normal length of sweatshirt. But what I like to do is tuck this into the joggers, and this has got the embroidery all along the sleeve. So on this sleeve, we've got the moon with a face on it, we've got a star, we've got the sun, and we've got another moon down the bottom. This is all embroidered. How cool is that? But I would wear this kind of half open and then you can fold the collar down and oh my God, I just absolutely love it. It's such a thick, cozy, soft, fleecy material on the inside and it's just gorgeous, gorgeous quality. The next hoodie is another half zip one. This one is actually printed instead of the embroidery just because this design was a little bit more intricate and they couldn't get this design with the embroidery. When you see the close up, you'll probably see why. But this is another half zip um, sort of semi cropped sweatshirt, which is a blue and black tie dye. Again, because these are hand dyed, some of them come out more bold than others and it's just beautiful. The first couple samples that I had of this, I was like, no, the material's too thin. I want it to be thick and cozy. Kind of just made these pieces as best as they could be because I wanted it to be just really comfy for everyone. And can you see like how soft and fluffy this is on the inside? And this design has actually got flowers in it. So we've got a sunflower on the middle one and then just some other little flowers that go through the rest of the moon phases, which I think is absolutely adorable. Wait, have I picked up the wrong sample of this one? One sec, one sec, one sec. We did have this sample, but the uh, the print on it was too small. So then we decided that we wanted it a bit bigger and this is the final sample, but I was wearing this earlier and it's a bit creased because I didn't iron it because I did the wrong one. <laughs> so this is a cropped sweatshirt. This one is like, pretty much true cropped. On me, it kind of hits at my waist. If you're a bit taller, it'd probably sit a little bit higher up. This one has got the same Moon Faces design as the phone case and the pop socket and the AirPod case, but obviously this one is on the jumper and this one says Goodnight Moon in the middle of it. This is actually a song that my dad used to play all of the time. It's a song called Goodnight Moon. Let me just get it up on Spotify. I'll play a bit of it now. It's actually in one of the Kill Bill films and my dad loves this song. He used to play it all the time and I think it's such a great song as well. So that's why I put Goodnight Moon on here. It's like a little... It's a little one for my dad. Although my dad's not going to be wearing a cropped blue jumper. So I'm sorry, dad. <laughs> It's just such a great song. I love it. I love it so much. My dad loves it and I, yeah, I thought I'd put that on here for dad. So here you go, dad. This one's for you. So there's actually two hoodies that have actually got a hood. That's what a hoodie is, obviously. Duh. So this is the black hoodie that says the moon on it and how beautiful is this design. We've got a mountain at the bottom. We've got the moon. We've got a shooting star fest in the sky. It's just the most stunning design and I'm so in love with this. It does have a pocket along the front. This is like your standard fit of like unisex hoodies and it does have the drawstrings as well on the hood and it's just a beautiful, beautiful design. This hoodie I've worn a couple of times and again, had so many questions on. So this is a blue tie dye hoodie and again, this one is hand dyed so it will be a little bit different her hoodie. And this one has similar aspects in that it has the constellation running through the middle and kind of like a meteor asteroid shower. We've got the sun compass up here. So it's got northeast, southwest, and then we've got the moon down the bottom with the clouds again. This design is a little bit more simple than the previous one, but I think as a hoodie altogether, this just looks so nice. And again, it's the most comfy, squishy, soft hoodie material. It just feels so Nice. And then finally, we move on to the t-shirts. I'm gonna start with my favorite. It's got the same design as the black hoodie, but this looks like, it says the moon on it and it looks like the moon, which is an oversized fit and it's got the same design on it, but just a little bit smaller. How beautiful is this t-shirt? So the next t-shirt again, oh my gosh, no. <laughs> 
Oh, okay, I sprayed crease release on this one, but this one definitely could have done with an iron. I'm very sorry about that. This one is a blue and white tie-dye t-shirt, which says in embroidery in the middle, in lilac writing, head in the clouds. Not inspired by Mitchell's palette. Obviously that, I only got that like last week. And then it's got the printed cloud and little moon and tiny little star design on it. But this one is a little bit more simple, but I actually explained my idea for this t-shirt. I wanted the blue and white tie-dye to look like clouds in the sky and that's what this is and yeah the head in the clouds is embroidered in lilac and the rest of it is printed and yes that might be a little ariana grande reference but i just like the, the saying head in the clouds anyway this t-shirt is absolutely beautiful and again i think these samples that i've got here annoyingly they don't have size labels in them but i think that this one is a large and this one says on it you are my sunshine when skies are gray i absolutely love the design of this. I kind of actually wish that we'd done this design on maybe a sweatshirt or something because I absolutely love it. It's an oversized fit t-shirt and it's the same sort of colour as the cropped sweatshirt. And the reason that I put You Are My Sunshine on here is because my mum used to sing me that song when I was younger. She used to sing me to sleep by singing me You Are My Sunshine and I have loved it ever since. So this one's for you, mum. Then I couldn't do this collection without putting a lilac t-shirt in here, just because I had that other lilac t-shirt that I really liked, which was some random t-shirt that wasn't even from a brand. It was just like a PR package t-shirt. So I wanted to have my own lilac t-shirt, but this has got the same design on it as the crop sweatshirt. It's got the moon faces and then it says goodnight moon again. And again, this one is printed in white. And this one that I've got here is a size small. So although quite a lot of my pieces are oversized and I do have the sizes that are a bit bigger, I would wear a small in all of the top halves and an extra small in the joggers so that's that one and then the final two t-shirts so we have a t-shirt version of this tracksuit so you can have the full the full three-piece set and then the final t-shirt this one is so sick it's actually still got the label on it from the factory let's just take that off how unbelievably cool is this t-shirt it's double-sided. On the front, we've got the zodiac print. So it's got the sun in the middle and then it's got the different, the different symbols of the star signs around the edges and the little animals that go with them. It's got the moon phases along the top. This one is a lilac and blue tie-dye. And on the back, it says zodiac tour. So this is inspired by band merch, like band tees, because I love a bit of band merch. I've got so many, well, I mean, I've got a lot of Taylor Swift band merch t-shirts. I've got a lot of JLS band t-shirts from back in the day. I've got a couple of like band t-shirts that my dad has given me from when I was younger. I just love the band tees and when they usually have the dates and the countries on the back, we put the star signs on the back. So it says Zodiac Tour 2020 and then it's got the different star signs. I think this is such a cool t-shirt. The design of this one is so intricate and so beautiful and I think the print on it is so lovely. Wow guys, I think that is it. I think that is everything from this collection. I know that there is a lot of stuff in here and maybe it might be a bit overwhelming, but like I said, I will leave all of the information you need to know down below. And also as well, when everything launches, I will leave a link down below, but make sure you're following me on social media because I will be posting when everything goes live, as will Skinny Dip. Thank you guys so much. I really hope you love everything. I'm really hoping that people aren't just gonna be like sick of seeing me launch stuff with Skinny Dip. I really hope that you love everything, but like I said, no pressure to buy anything, but if you do want to buy anything, it launches next Thursday, the 3rd of December, and please let me know what you think. Please let me know what your favorite piece is. If you intend on buying anything, please let me know because I would love to know. And yeah, I just really hope you like it, and I'm really nervous, and I'm scared. Thank you for everything. <laughs> I was going to say thank you for watching, but just thank you for everything. You guys are the reason that I get to do cool shit like this, so thank you. I hope you guys are doing really good, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs> ah! Oh, now I have to film on the triumph clips, and it's midnight. <laughs>